Andrew Palmer from Elegant Marketplace here. We're really excited to be able to bring you our child theme maker, uh, mainly because it does Divi, Extra, and of course a generic WordPress 2015 theme as well. So you, all you do is you check down here and you choose your particular uh, preference there. Now, all I'm going to do is show you quickly uh, what you need to put in here. So all you need to put is your company's name. So let's put somebody's hero in here. And I want a Divi um, child theme. I'm gonna put 1.01 .01 as my version because I can just do that. So my client name I can put in or again, my company name as well. And the author obviously is me because that's who I am. And I can have footer text. Now you can put anything you like in here, but uh, we've suggested designed by because that's pretty cool. And then for the link text, so where do I want or where do I want that link to uh, go to? So I'm gonna say it's uh, designed by Andrew Palmer. And then I'm gonna make my footer link, including the HTTP or HTTPS, depending on what you're doing. I'm going to send that to somebody's hero.co.uk. Uh, I can also put a theme screenshot in. So this is kind of like a picture up here. Uh, so I'm gonna choose my file, hopefully it will go to the right place. Uh, and let's just make it an EMP logo, Let's, for, for instance. So I can put that in there. And if I have any custom CSS, so if I've got a particular way that I want my blog to appear, or I've got a particular, um, some mobile queries that I'm putting into every child theme that I'm building for my customers, then this is where I would put my CSS text. And then all I do is I say, get child theme. And that then downloads the child theme, which is somebody's hero uh, zip. And then I will log in and show you how to install this child theme. Okay, I've logged into my dashboard, my WordPress dashboard, and now I'm going to add the theme. So we go to our themes, add new, upload a new theme, Choose our file. Install it. Activate it. And we know that the parent theme Divi 2.5.9, which is the latest version, is installed and there we are. We have our theme. So why do we need a child theme? Basically, it's a good idea because we have Divi which gets updated quite a lot. There's a, a probably a quite a big update coming soon as well. So we want to make sure that the website that we build will stay as stable as possible when we update our themes and or plugins. So therefore, if we have a child theme uh, that we've created from scratch, if you like, but it's based on the main theme, whether it's Divi or WordPress or any other theme that you're using, uh, it's easier for us to edit. So we go into our editor, and we look at the CSS here, and all our custom CSS goes under here. So if you want to put in your H1 tags or your specific uh, layouts of your blog or your media queries and things like that, you just uh, enter them in the line under the custom CSS, and then you have your own child theme. And that's it. So thanks for watching, and I hope you find it useful uh, using our free child theme maker. Thank <laughs> you.